All right, this is the second video. Here we go. Ten days sober of League of Legends? Wow. That's special. Attention gamers, previously on my break from playing one trash game, to playing another trash game I made a dwarf hunter without eyelids and applied to join Soda Poppins Guild, oh. consisting of some of the internet's biggest streamers, oh. some of the most famous pairs of paywall tits, and some other incompetent bumbling muppets. Russell, you actually killed me, you <laughs> my new friends were initially hesitant to watch my journey. Join Soda Czar's only fangs guild, here's the first episode yeah. documenting the journey. Oh god, Rab made a video. Attention gamers, the- Uh oh. Uh, are we watching this? But they all left Are episode one a satisfied customer. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> this is such good editing and yeah, such a good script, man. I spawned into Coldridge Butthole, defended the local dwarfs against the ugly evolved Harambe's trying to bang their wives and completed arguably the hardest challenge in hardcore WoW, making it to level 10 on a hunter. I enslaved a black pig named him Howie and together we were ready to continue our journey. As the only only fangs guild member to still not have received his invite, invite to the, the f***ing guild discord, discord server. server i'm not even in the discord i'm not in the discord like this is what i think is going to happen i think that realistically people will die at 60. and i think that most of the streamers that die at 60 will not re-level like, if Miz dies at 60, Sinek is going to have to be leveling that character overnight. Okay? Like, that's just how it is. He's going to have to be working his fucking ass off. So, like, my, my thing is, like, I think that I will win and I will get a raid spot just by being there. Because so many people are going to die or do something stupid in UBRS. Or do something stupid in uh, BRD. Anything like that. No way Miz gets to 60 without dying. Well, I mean, to be fair, he's already died multiple times. But, yeah. Miz, or, Miz will die or, or kill Emmy again today? Oh, yeah, probably. Me and Howie were now ready to tear this Narnia wasteland a new asshole By when I way, realized um, I was... My guild, Roach Out, I've decided that we're going to start raiding. So we will be recruiting high-level players and getting ready to raid. The reason why we will be raiding is because I want to watch their raids on, like, Discord or through a stream. And I want to watch them fuck up. That's the reason. I'm just doing it for content. It's missing something. <laughs> Turns out these entitled swine can actually run away. This just pissed yeah. me off and I knew things would have to change. No more cute nicknames for my kids, no more soft Howard, parenting. Yeah. As someone who grew up in the 90s and is now mm -hmm. playing an old dated version of Jesus. World of Warcraft in his 30s, Whoa. I'd say I turned out fine so nothing but tough love for my pig son moving forward. Yeah. I made him kill his family as punishment for my <laughs> first son leaving me. But I soon found out I have to keep these stupid animals happy by feeding them and apparently the only way to do that is to go into this Lord of the Rings looking man made I remember um my mom was playing the game in like vanilla WoW and she made a hunter maybe it was like TBC and like the pet stopped liking her and it started attacking her and I remember she felt like legitimately fucking betrayed like how could he possibly fucking do this to me like this game, like this is this should never have happened to me. She was actually mad. Mountain asshole to visit Bella, a California two out of ten at best to teach you how to put food in your little fuck's mouth. You will now be able to feed your pet. She also taught him how to growl, which meant that no beast would ever attack me again. Bruh. Except, yeah. Turns out similar to me having abilities, these swine flu spreaders can learn mm -hmm. some too. Except the process to get them is the most convoluted bullshit ever. Yeah, it's really fucking You have annoying. to pay to put your own child in daycare, then you have to do Jesus. research on what wild animals can teach you skills as if this Jesus. is some religious avatar the last airbender bullshit lore. That's so dumb. So I finally find a bear and start to tame him so that I can learn. They just hey. go and kill his bear! You get back here, you make hey, 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 whoa! Whoa! That's a fucking multi-boxer! 
Those are fucking bots, man. Look at them. Then I have to find a whole different species to tame so that I can teach my own remedial child how to bite and apparently the only type of wolves that know this are the starving kind who have watched way too much Mean Girls movies growing up that they only patrol in groups. I had to execute 200 IQ strategies to divide and conquer the group straight Napoleon style, kill off Regina George and then ultimately tame the orphaned basic bitch all so that it could teach me bite and I could train Howard. Except for the fact that he didn't want to learn bite and he was too stupid to learn claw. Yeah, I had to build bitch. something called loyalty level before he would use his fucking mouth so I made him genocide his entire family. Every Wait, really? All this stuff is in classic WoW? I didn't even realize that you had to do all of this. That's so fucking annoying. Time he would be hungry I Jesus. would feed him the meat of his dead relatives until finally. The walking piece of bacon learned how to bite. There it is. So in 45 minutes of making zero progress on my own journey, wow. I taught an entitled pig how to bite. Great game design blizzard. Yeah, now if you paid you. attention in history class you know about the famous shot heard round the world but uh -huh. if you didn't, it sounded like this. And this. Yep. And this. And I was sick of my ears bleeding after only 11 levels of this so I made a deal with a pig-tailed midget to send me to the land of the big sexy elves where this tall drink Ooh. of milk taught me how to use bows so the classic wow ASMR go. could commence. Sour sauce on my pussy. She also told me a chode with a seemingly- made up name in the forge of irons can teach me how to hold the big axes so i made a quick stop at fully whiffs place on the way home supposedly there's a sophisticated subway system in this game that is safe as long as you don't make eye contact with the homeless hoodlums down there and the ride is full of dank scenery oh this got took me to goldshire the town known for being the biggest hangout place for players for its appearance in a south park mm -hmm. episode and for housing the most cringeworthy role-playing scenarios but as I was just taking Howard for his morning walk, because I now know it's that- It's crazy how people still do RP in Goldshire. Like, if you go to Moonguard right now, there will be people RPing in Goldshire. Little shitter will run away I'm if serious. I don't give him a good life I stumble across a wanted poster. Hogger, I barely know her. <laughs> good one. Hogger is basically the final boss for most nine-year-olds' WoW experience. There's only- well, that actually makes a lot of sense, because isn't this what Miz did whenever he first started playing Classic WoW? He made, like, a raid to kill Hogger first. 55 creatures who have more kills to their name, and while I wanted to ask for help, I know some guy with perfect hair on the internet would say something stupid about glory if I did, so there was only oh, one true. thing to do. Just kite him around the tree. Oh shit, not good. Yep. Ooh, go across the uh, go across the river. I'm sure nothing bad will happen there. Oh, you're good. You're good. Damn, I'm gonna be honest. Like he finessed the fuck out of Hogger. This guy's actually pretty good. Like I've seen people that played the game 15 years couldn't figure this shit out. I officially beat yeah, World did. of Warcraft. Yeah, I should invite him to my guild. But turns out Hogger has jack shit on the concept of caves when it comes to casualties in this game. The problem here is you can just walk and dip your toes in the murder scene for a bit and then you turn back around and guess who's back. Here's yeah, there it is. Hyper spawns. Many great men before me have Ooh, failed here, but loser. the guy in town needed those boxes of Hillary Clinton's emails and I'm not a pussy. Everybody, every time that somebody in our guild dies... Everybody in the entire guild is like, oh, rip bozo, rest and piss. Oh, we got ourselves a loser. And then everybody's typing like, get him out of here. Kick this loser out of the guild. Fuck you, bitch. And then we kick him out of the fucking guild before they can even leave. Before they can even log in. Bro, my guild is the worst. It's so good. Side note, if you run into me in the world Sips and don't pet Howard, you are essentially dead to me. Oh. Anyways, after a bit of casual everyday small talk with the normies, I was on my way. But here's the thing, uh -huh. I was here, which right. is here, and I needed to get here. No, this meant the next hour of my life would consist of running through tunnels and crossing very dangerous zones. Oh, 19. At one Level point, 19. Howard That's fucked dangerous. around and most definitely found out. 
Oh, hey, it's Hashtag the way it goes. perfect parenting moment. This brought me they to the wetlands, which is not only the fine. perfect way to describe a room of women when this chode ungroomed Ooh. budget Ed Sheeran walks through the door, but it's also a deadly place for anyone my age to walk through. Thankfully hunters are easy mode so I had the thing that tells me when I'm about to drive by a cop, plus I was nuts to butts with this big piece of eye candy the whole time so I made it with ease. Mm -hmm. All that was left to do was board the Mayweather put on my Christopher Columbus cosplay and I would arrive. In the wrong fucking city. Fucking After a totally idiot, not frustrated Google bro. search I found the right boat. Isn't it crazy how you can just look information up on the internet? Because there's a lot of people that I play with that don't know that. I wish they did. And that with it we were at the it. shores of darkness. Now I guess word got out that a voiceless faceless League of Legends Ooh. YouTuber would be making a documentary Ooh. on this guild's journey and now all these big shots started joining. Ompi they could have made a movie about this man's death and hardcore and it No, no bro. See like if you let's go back talk about this. Look at these clowns. Nobody here. See, he took a frostbolt. He wouldn't have died if they had interrupted the frostbolt. This was completely his raid's fault. This was 100 fucking percent his raid's fault. I went through this frame by fucking frame. You look at all these people. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. Look at these two guys. None of them could interrupt. None of these guys could interrupt. None of the mages could interrupt. You got four fucking mages. You can't get a single counter spell out. What the fuck is going on? Would have sold more copies than Barbie. Not his then fault. we had Ozzy, a man who knows fault. both the feeling of reaching max level and also dying at max level because he can't keep his damaged dick in his pants. There it is. See, he knows. Turns out the seasoned fame boys of HC WoW have something known as streamer bennies while they tag mobs and then have multiple max level characters kill them at just oh, the this right is so cringe where people do this. point to give them full experience resulting yeah. in a highly calculated super optimized efficient way to level up. Yeah. All while I just spent the last six minutes wondering who the fuck is dying to a school of fish. But yeah. What? How do you die to fish? Yeah. What do you mean says me? Bro, I'm leveling. I'm doing every dungeon. But I do want to say that we might do some more leveling on my Warlock today. And you know what that means, guys. That's right, get your wallets out. Yeah, some of these streamer Benny strats looked insane. I saw one dude and his friend going full-blown Hitler oh, on some harpies so and this hidden tech got him to level 18 in just over 4 hours. I felt like I was going pretty fast as a level 14, so I had to compare. Bruh. Ooh, ooh, what a loser. Ooh, what a loser, dude. Imagine not leveling in the most efficient way. Bro, like, an, imagine not min-maxing the game. Like, it, it, dude, imagine not playing the game in order to min-max the 19-year-old game and beat it in the most efficient way possible. I couldn't pinpoint exactly what was holding me up in terms of leveling speed but the good news was that I was in Darkshore. This place breeds easy quests like Los Angeles breeds porn stars who failed at being actors. You just tickle a few beached whales till this bridge chump that his dead wife doesn't want to see him anymore. <laughs> and it is just an XP orgasm while you are here. Yep. Ooh, that's a lot of levels. God damn. At one point I ran into Ompi doing his streamer Benny Strat and as a guildie I oh, figured yeah. I would go introduce myself. Hey guildy. I'm not very good at first impressions. My mom always said he starts with a joke, so here it goes. What do you call a guild that runs three resto druids? A tree. He flat out ignored me, so I threw heat his way and later had a chat with Howard where I said don't you ever let your future fame make you think your own. Just didn't even notice it. Speedrunning goals are more important than laughing at a random guildy's awful joke. That said I was jealous of his leveling speed so I figured yeah, I would try out his strat. Except the guy who I have killing my mobs didn't know he was part of my strat. There it is. That didn't last long. <gasps> Bro, you see him tag that? That the was guy who that I was have dude, that was slick. Watch. My mobs did see he saw the fireball? No, he was part of Immediately my strat. Immediately tags it with an arcane shot. Immediately, bro. Fuck that him. didn't last long but I felt bad and after for the little real? garden gnome told me he had been stuck on this quest for 15 minutes I invited him, only for him to drag the entire fucking cave down to me while saying, I have problems. This hey, little hey, having probs. green haired ninny muggins was bad news, 
He kept trying to dry hump rocks as a bug to get out of the cave faster and all I wanted to do was be done with him and put anything that happened between us in the past. But Howard and I had business- There's some people that play this game. I really don't know how, like, they have like a deep fried brain. Like, uh... It's like you put a brain in like a, uh... Like the McDonald's, like, uh, fries. And you just leave it there for like... 15 years and you take it out and then you get the way that these people play the game man to attend to on the, the other side of azeroth brains, yeah i entered westfall with one objective to find a defias trapper Ooh. this is known as the most deadly mob in all of hardcore wow outside of falling or drowning no other thing has taken the reason why is because defias trappers whenever you try to run away from them they do a backstab and so, like, whenever you're running away, it means you're afraid because you think you're going to die. So your health probably isn't that high. So that's how they get you. More lives and wasted more virgin's time than a defias trapper. And there was only one thing to do. What? What? Why he do that? What's he doing? He going to die? What the fuck is he? What the? It really do be like that, huh? And you can tell it's not in slow motion by the speed of the boar. Got him. I kneeled as victor in front of my defeated opponent knowing what this momentous event would mean. You are now looking at the most deadly creature in all of Azeroth. Wow. That was actually really fucking funny. Holy shit, that was way better than I had expected. Yep, tables have turned, exactly. Yeah, this was really good. I'll link you guys to videos. Make sure to give him a sub, give it a like. I've never seen any of his videos before. These are really funny. Yeah, these are really, really funny. I will watch the, um, I'll watch the other ones. Just a second. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I'll watch maybe, like, one or two more tomorrow. Yeah, Rav is good. Yeah, these are way better than I had expected, man. That was actually really funny.